Hello, Hello Seneca, Seneca Media, Media fam. fam, and welcome to another edition of Seneca Media Last Week Today, where we are going to tell you what happened last week today. No, such creativity. Much writing. What? You were the one who... <sighs> Never mind. Like I was saying, welcome to Seneca Media Last Week Today, where we're going to recap all the wonderful things that happened in Seneca Media Land last fortnight this afternoon. In case you missed us last week, we have a legitimate reason why we weren't here. Budget. Budget. But we took some tips from GR students and successfully lobbied for a budget raise. Ta-da! And we have a new green screen. Had. Had a green screen. I'm Devin. And this is Afshan. Let's, Let's get, get started. started. The GR students were visited by CBC's Sean Poulter, who dropped by to talk about lobbying Crown Corporations. The students were excited to hear from GR royalty. The reigning verdict on the amazing guest speaker was that it was an enriching experience. The PR students have been very busy. Four score and seven hours ago in advanced presentation skills with the wonderful, as always, David Turnbull, they prepared speeches that were reflective of the Gettysburg address that was only 272 words long. It was a hard fought battle. Now, if you were asked to compare the speeches to Lincoln's, we cannot tell a lie. They were absolutely incredible. We think we witnessed the emancipation of their inhibitions, a freedom of their fears. I think I'm running out of Gettysburg friends. Thank you, we can be civil again. Civil! Can't even miss that. It's really good. More on PR. Along with preparing multiple speeches, the students were also planning and executing their events for Holly's event planning class. Five groups presented concepts for their perfect PR event at Great Expectations Grand Event Off. Industry experts came to judge the event concepts on several criteria. The events proposed were incredibly diverse and aesthetically so beautiful to think. They only had four weeks. I guess you could say it was a Bildungsroman. A what? Bildungsroman, you know, like a coming of age story, like Great Expectations was, you know, a group of young, hopeful PR students going no. after them. Okay, well, I guess then we will just congratulate the students on their creativity and applaud them for their hard work. And with that final event, we believe that it is time for them to bid Holly's event management class a heartfelt pip pip cheerio. Okay, are you British now? In other news, the radio and journalism studios were taken over by a group of fifth graders with Jim, Bill, Barb and Craig teaching these munchkins some serious broadcasting ropes. The students loved it, and many of them said that they would like to make this their career, which we think is wonderful. And we would make some silly puns about what happens during this time, but between whipping and dabbing and nay-naying, we had no idea what they were talking about. Straight up old people problems. Let me say that again. Uh, we should formally warn the current students, though. The profs were a lot nicer, and the talent was, well, Talented, so look out. But jokes apart, um, it was really heartwarming to see these students do such an amazing job. And the, the level of comfort that they had with Jim, Barb, Craig, and Bill just goes to show how wonderful they are at their job. So congratulations. Government relations students were visited by a panel of guest speakers in Cam Gordon's digital media class. They chirped about trending topics such as the future of the industry, the hustle life, and career prospects. They kept their advice under 140 characters, of course. A wealth of good advice was shared, and the students left the class feeling hashtag winning. And finally, back at it again with the PR students. Once again, for David's class, they had to prepare persuasive speeches, and boy, were they persuasive. 
bright and early on Wednesday morning in the beautiful Seneca York courtyard, we witnessed their speeches on topics that ranged from mental health, religion, and energy shakes. Really, it was amazing to listen to all the wonderful speeches. And they were so persuasive that David turned down his usual harmless bullying to listen intently. So many puns. <laughs> you can call me a pun. No, stop. Please. Please stop. Well, that's all for this week, folks. We want to take this time to wish you all a very relaxing break week. And for those of you celebrating, we'd like to wish you Eid Mubarak. And that is what happened last fortnight. This is a weekly update. Okay, there's a week and a fortnight. Don't be creative. That's what happened last week. In, In case, case you missed it. it. Is that too high? Here.